This is a 1951 Smith Corona Silent, and I'm going to be doing a typing demo on it. This particular one is listed on our Etsy shop. The link is in the comments. But let's show you around. So, first of all, most typewriters have the little paper holders back here. This is your margin set, so you just press and push in where you want your margins. The carriage release on this typewriter are these silver levers in the back. So you just press either one in. So the bell is pretty faint on this particular typewriter. Um, to open up the top, move the carriage all the way to the left pop open the top and you will see your ribbon spools right here. Um, down here is a selector for how hard you want your tight bars to strike the paper. When it's time to change out your ribbon, make sure you pay attention to how they're threaded within the guide. Each typewriter is a little bit different. So, um, and then also your typewriter ribbon should last you quite a while. When it gets to the end, it'll get really faint. That doesn't mean you need to replace your ribbon, it just means you need to change the direction of the spool. And you do that with this lever right here. And it doesn't seem like it's doing much, but it's changing the direction. And then on the right side, you'll see the selector for the colors. Black ribbon, the black part of the ribbon goes on the top, the red goes on the bottom. Okay, so let's type and see how this one is doing. Also, for those of you not familiar with typewriters, this lever right here releases the paper so you can straighten it out if you want. And then you close that back. Whoops that's on red, let me do this. It's not a 52, it's a 51. This is a good example on some of these typewriters. There is no number one. They just save space with that, so you use the lowercase l. So this is a silent, it has speed lines. Um, and you'll notice it's not as loud as most type typewriters. Okay, so the comma is not working on this typewriter. We will work on it again, and if um, if we can get that re to release, ah, so it's the lowercase comma. The uppercase comma works. Good to know. Um, where was I? If we can get the lowercase comma to work before I post it, I will let you know. Interesting. Now it's working. So we'll double check as to why it gets stuck in that particular thing because now it's fine. Backspace. Even though the faint is kind of a dink instead of a ding, uh, at least you hear it. I think that dink is hilarious.
This actually types pretty well. Yes, there are no delete buttons on a typewriter. We have gotten that question several times. So when you make a mistake, like Ray Rudolph had a very shunny nose, you just gotta go back and type over it or put an X in it. Shiny, just typed over it. There you go. Okay, this works actually really well. Um, besides that one time, it's actually working perfectly right now, but we will, um, we have a solution here that we put on keys to loosen them up. I'm going to do that one more time um, after this video so that when it does ship out to you, everything's nice and um, loose and there's no issues with that. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. But otherwise, go over to our Etsy shop. You'll see the link in the comments and you can see up close images and other details for this particular typewriter. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.